Video content can be used to great effect on your website. It's very common to see sales videos on top performing internet marketing sites these days, and for good reason. Videos are engaging, they're easily digestible, they can get right to the heart of the proposition visually in a way that often copy can't. Done well, videos can be an incredibly exciting, passionate presentation of your product or service, or even just a great way to build a relationship with your visitors. So telling them who you are and infecting them with your unique passion and enthusiasm for your product. The great thing about using Excite Pro to insert video is that it makes it a no-brainer. A few simple steps is all it takes, and we're going to be taking a look at those in just a second. So here you can see with this uh, this sort of example here, here's a website that we've uh, built from a template with Excite Pro, and uh, you can see that we've inserted some video content. So let's just close this window now and drop into Excite Pro and see exactly how we can achieve that sort of effect with uh, with all that simplicity I was just mentioning there. We can see here at the page layout tab, we've got a template site that we've just put together in a few minutes and uh, it's got some sample pages to start with. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hop over to the web pages tab where we edit the web page content in Excite Pro. And you'll see here that I've already knocked up a, a quick sales letter style web page into which I'm going to insert my compelling video content. So to actually insert the video content, what we want to do is just position our mouse where we would like the video content to appear and then right click with our right mouse button. And the menu that appears, the right click menu, a powerful part of the Excite Pro uh, application, has in it an insert audio video option, which if we just mouse over that, you'll see this sub menu appears. And from that menu, I'm gonna select video player. Immediately you'll see the video wizard appears. And this is the simple linear approach that Excite Pro takes to inserting this sort of content and five steps in this case, the first of which is asking us to just select the file that we would like to insert, the video content that we have that we would like Excite Pro to take and put into our web page. So I'm just going to browse for my video content and select this demo, uh, demo clip.mpg file. Now, Excite Pro, of course, takes lots of different video formats, so you should never really have any problem inserting your video files into Excite Pro. And once we've selected that file, we just go ahead and click Next, which moves us on to step two. You can see here two settings, height and width. And what we can do is we can specify what uh, one or the other, and Excite Pro will automatically adjust the, um, the, the corresponding height or width, depending on which we've edited, maintaining that aspect ratio so, so you don't end up with sort of squished or uh, elongated um, uh, video content. I've set my height and width to what I want, and I just go ahead and click Next. From this next screen, quite simple, all we need to do is choose what quality we'd like the video content to be rendered at, produced at. The higher the quality, the larger the resultant video file size will be. And once we've selected that, we just click Next. Now on this fourth step, we're just being asked how would we like Excite Pro to uh, trigger the video? Would we like the video to play automatically when a visitor lands on your web page? Perhaps that's useful if it's a, a hard sell. Uh, or would we like the user to have the option to click on the, uh, the video to play it themselves? I'm going to extend the courtesy to the visitor and say that we'll, we'll allow them to choose whether or not the video plays. So having left the settings basically as they are, I click Next. And finally, if we wanted to, we could generate and preview the video before committing it to the web page, but I'm happy with it, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Finish. And at that point, Excite Pro is going to do all the clever stuff. It's actually encoding the video to the correct formats, embedding it in the web page, and adding playback controls for us, all taking just, as you can see there, a few seconds. And the resultant effect, how does that look when we preview our website now? Here's the preview button in the bottom left-hand corner. We click the preview button, Excite Pro is going to fire up our preferred browser and show us that web page within the context of the page design, of course, framed by our template. And um, here we can see our video content, which if I just go ahead and click on it, you can see there's our video playing back nice and clean, nice and crisp. Of course, I can use the playback controls at the bottom to control, uh, to control the video content. Um, simple to do, but the effects are incredibly powerful. Well, what about though I hear you say video content that perhaps you've already got? How about vi video content, for example, on YouTube? Well, Excite Pro's got that covered too. If I just head over to YouTube and check out, a, um, we have a video here, which is a, a promotional video for Excite Pro 2. If I just stop that, you'll see when you're looking at video content on YouTube that there is what's called an embed code here. There's some code here for um, embedding into your web page um, the, the YouTube video. And Excite Pro can receive that code no problem. Let's see how quick it is to insert YouTube videos. 
If I just go ahead and copy that uh, code from the embed uh, box there, and let's just close that browser now, we're done with that. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna replace our existing video, this section here, with the code from the YouTube website. So there's two ways of actually doing this. We could, if we wanted to, go into the source code and find the right position to put the code in, but there's a much easier way to do it. It's another neat feature of Excite Pro. What we do is we right click where we want to actually insert the code and we're gonna replace this video. So I'm right clicking on the video, select snippets, insert new, and then from the window that appears, we're just gonna select the source tab and insert the code there, just paste it there. So we're not really having a care for where in the overall source code for the whole page we're inserting this, we're just putting it in a nice neat box. Click insert and there we have the object marker denoting where that YouTube video is going to appear. So once again, we'll preview our web page and we'll see just how this YouTube video is gonna look within our web page design. So here comes the web page and you'll see as it loads there, a little bit further down the page, if I scroll down, there's the YouTube video embedded neatly into our web page design. Anyone coming to that web page and clicking the play button, they're going to get the regular YouTube video content that we saw when we previewed the, uh, the YouTube site there. I'll just pause this and just like they uh, would were they on the YouTube site itself. So you can insert any YouTube content there um, as simply as that. So to round off, Lots of different ways of inserting video content into Excite Pro. Very simple, very powerful, and in the right hands, this can add some great quality, uh, impacting content onto your website. I hope you enjoy using the tool.